So today I wanted to talk to you about an essential element of your business if you want to grow a business um, that I see trip so many spiritual entrepreneurs up and that is selling your services. So today I wanted to talk to you about an essential element of your business if you want to grow a business um, that I see trip so many spiritual entrepreneurs up and that is selling your services. So, so many feel like they are having to close a deal or close a client and they really fear the sales process and they really fear like just selling their services in general and really being able to call in the people that they're really here to serve and a part of this that i wanted to address is because um there oftentimes is a lack of really tr um, valuing your own services, valuing your own gift and what you bring to the table and the transformation that you offer. So first and foremost, there's a lot of imposter syndrome that keeps spiritual entrepreneurs second guessing themselves or comparing themselves to somebody else that maybe has maybe probably started a little ahead of them. And so they're a little bit further down the road and it looks like, well, why would anybody want to work with me when they could work with her kind of thing? So they just start sabotaging themselves left and right that's one reason the sales process can be really stressful is because you're not honoring the value and the transformation and the wisdom and everything that you bring to the table just by being you you're an energetic catalyst to transformation just by people simply being in your presence when you're operating from higher awareness and higher consciousness and you're holding someone in your sights from a non-judgmental place from a safe place allowing holding sacred space and allowing them to unfold and evolve within your presence while you hold that sacred space I mean, just that in and of itself is transformational, right? Just that, just being in your presence while you witness someone else as whole, healed, complete, and you give them permission to see themselves in that same way. That's transformational just in and of itself, let alone the divine guidance that you're calling in. And this is what a lot of spiritual entrepreneurs are not connecting the dots with. They want to call in their soulmate clients so their sales calls don't feel like a struggle because they won't feel like a struggle when you're um, on the phone with the soulmate client. It's just going to feel like the next logical step for them and for you. And it's just going to be like two souls coming together with recognition, recognition that they need to work together. And it would be amazing if they did. And that's really how it goes down if it's a, sale, if it's a soulmate uh, client. Um, but okay. So I want to circle back. So what a lot of spiritual entrepreneurs are also not connecting the dots with is that the divine guidance that you're sitting on, that you're not sharing because you're afraid to speak your truth or you're afraid it sounds too out there or you're afraid it sounds too crazy or you're afraid someone's going to reject you for it. Like all of these fears that are keeping you from truly saying what it is that you want to say, sharing your truth, sharing your message is what is keeping you from calling in your soulmate clients, which is then leading to the sales call being a flop or feeling like a struggle or feeling like an actual closing situation where you have to actually like close a prospect or something like that. I don't see the sales process at all like that. The sales process is very, very much a sacred service where two people come together and um, they, it is a mutually beneficial exchange that helps elevate both on their journey. And um, I see enrolling clients, enrolling students as a very sacred act. It's a very sacred act. I mean, I pray and call my next clients in or make myself available to them energetically. And it's the first thing I do when they sign up. It is such a sacred service. It is such an act of the divine to bring two people together that can mutually been mutually help each other evolve on their journeys. 
this is what's really happening. If your sales calls, if you're a spiritual entrepreneur and your sales calls don't feel like that and they feel like um, difficult or challenging or icky or feel like you're forcing something, then you are not hopping on the phone with your soulmate client and because of your misalignment, the universe is reflecting back to you on your sales calls, your misalignment. And that's the sales calls. I, I've done another video on this is such a good mirror for where you're at energetically, because when you are energetically in alignment and you fully own your gift and your value and the wisdom you bring to the table and the transformation that you offer and you know that and you stand in your power and you unapologetically know your worth, then your sales calls are going to be a reflection of this. Your clients will be a reflection of this. Your income, the money, the revenue generated, all of this is going to be a reflection of you fully owning your worth and knowing that what you have to bring to the table is of massive value and is of divine service. And so I see so many spiritual entrepreneurs doubting so much along the way, second guessing everything, their own worth, what they bring to the table, their services, their program, even though, you know, it's been divinely guided, they'll still get up to the, the finally ready to go to sales, ready to go get on the phone and talk to people or ready to, you know, promote or, or whatever. And they feel a huge disconnect and this is largely why there is um a lack of ownership of the value that you have to offer and what you bring to the table and that it's highly important that you do share your message and your gift um and that you do share the divine downloads that are coming to you because they are meant to be shared they're not meant to be stuffed away and hidden in a journal for who knows how long they're meant to be shared with the masses and for the women that resonate with me they are here to help uplift and heal the masses you are a teacher at your core and you're here to help lead this great awakening movement into this new paradigm where we do operate from higher higher awareness higher levels of consciousness and um and in order to be that way shower it's going to require you to fully step into your own worthiness your own your own um yeah worthiness that's the only word i can come up with right now um it's going to require that you fully own it that what you have is valuable that you're that you, you're showing up you're allowing yourself to be seen heard get visible recognizing that yeah there's so many fears that pop up i i hear it all the time well what if i'm sharing is too out there or people reject it or no one's i'm gonna you know a lot of people are gonna like think i'm crazy or you know this and that and this I hear this all the time because I work with the most talented, um, open channels that are, you know, bringing in so much higher wisdom, you know, star seeds, whatever you want to refer to them as, you know, we are all here on this journey together to bring through what is new, what's beyond what we've known thus far and new ways of perceiving new ways of being new ways of existing new ways of relating this is part of what's happening right now and i see so many spiritual entrepreneurs getting stuck in this like 3d back and forth duality of the mind instead of truly trusting and valuing what it is they have to offer and acting on their intuition and not second guessing anymore, right? So that's really what has to happen. Um, when you do that, that's what's going to bring in your soulmate clients. The byproduct of that is that the sales calls are easy. They're breezy, easy breezy. They're the right people will show up. Everybody will be aware of it. There'll be a recognition there. Um, it won't feel like a sales call. It won't feel like you have to close a prospect or anything like that. It's just a natural next step to work together. There's no crazy um, tactics you have to use or anything like that. You just have to be authentically 
in your truth and authentically in your power and own it and know that um, the universe is supporting you on this journey and supporting everyone that's meant to work with you on this journey as well so you guys can find each other. There's a higher purpose for you coming together. When I think about the higher purpose for me calling in my clients and my clients calling in me because it's mutual, right? It gives me chills because it's so much bigger than us coming together. For every person that I have the opportunity to work with is such a blessing. And yes, it, it manifests in my life beautiful things. It manifests in their life beautiful things. But it goes so much beyond what it's manifesting in each of our lives and on each of our journeys. For you know, when I think about this and I recognize that for every single person that I'm able to be a catalyst for and to help on this journey, they are exp exponentially helping tens, hundreds, thousands, hundreds of thousands of people through their individual message and their individual gift and their individual expression. And yours business that you're building is no different. What you're creating a domino effect of higher awareness, higher consciousness, connection to the divine, connecting more to, you know, the larger truths that we are all connected. One is like, you get all this, you know, all this, but you get stuck in the, in your, in your thoughts. And this is the mind. This is the duality. You get stuck in that. And then the doubts will, you know, they have energy to them. There's a momentum to the thoughts that will then, you know, take on a life of their own and cause a lot of self-doubt. And this then spirals out of control. And then you find yourself popping up on sales calls that feel struggle, like feel like a struggle. So just wanted to pop in here with this. It's about building your business from a place of high intention in service to the divine from start to finish and being in complete soul alignment from start to finish. If you are in complete soul alignment from start to finish, you will call in your soulmate clients and your sales calls will, they'll feel like non-existent. They'll just be like, um, soulmate connection calls and that's about it. And so if that's something that you're looking forward to creating in your business and you do want to build and scale and you are here to make a massive impact and you know this and you're sick of, you know, you know, go, you know, the patterns and you're sick of beating your head against the wall and you just want us, you know, a soul aligned business that fully comes into alignment with what you know and have known for your whole life that you're here to play a role in and you're ready to step fully into that, then that's who I serve. I specifically work with spiritual teachers, healers, light workers, and coaches that are at that place in their business where they are looking to build or scale and they not only want to make a massive impact, they also want to honor their own freedom and wellness-based lifestyle on the back end as well. So if that resonates with you, I love your comments and feedback below this video. Uh, you can also check out my Soul Line Success Masterclass, which you can also find below this video wherever you happen to be watching it. And I will check in with you again very soon. Namaste.